Non-invasive prenatal screening via cell-free DNA is used to screen a pregnancy for chromosome abnormalities. This screen is also referred to as non-invasive prenatal screening, NIPS, or non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT. Performing this screen involves the collection of a maternal blood sample, which is sent to the laboratory, where we extract DNA from the plasma portion of the blood. This DNA is derived from both the mother and, to a lesser extent, the fetus. We then use next-generation sequencing techniques to determine the amount of the chromosomes of interest present in the fetus. Pregnancies that are affected with a chromosome abnormality, such as a trisomy, which is where there are three copies of a particular chromosome present instead of only two, will have an abnormal amount of DNA in the mother's plasma when compared to unaffected pregnancy. When this happens, we report a high risk result for the given abnormality. Currently, we are screening for trisomies 21, which is Down syndrome, trisomy 18, which is Edwards syndrome, and trisomy 13, which is Pateau syndrome. This screen can also determine the presence or absence of the Y chromosome in order to determine fetal gender. In the future, we will also be adding the ability to screen for additional trisomies, sex chromosome abnormalities such as Turner syndrome, and select chromosomal microdeletion syndromes. The American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, or ACOG, recently released guidelines recommending that all pregnant women receive detailed counseling regarding the benefits and limitations of all of the current prenatal screening options, including non-invasive prenatal screening via cell-free DNA. This takes the place of their previous guidelines, which recommended that this screening test only be offered to mothers at high risk of having a fetus with a trisomy. Currently, this screen can be performed any time after approximately 10 weeks gestation. Before this time, there may not be sufficient fetal DNA in the mother's blood to complete the screening accurately. The screen can also be performed on any pregnancy. However, it may not be as accurate in the case of multiple gestations, so if the mother is pregnant with twins or triplets, or in cases where the mother is not biologically related to the fetus, so in cases, for example, of where the pregnancy was conceived using an egg donor. It is extremely important to note that this assay is a screen and not a diagnostic test. The fetal DNA in the mother's plasma is derived from the placenta, which usually, but not always, accurately represents the fetal chromosome complement. Although somewhat rare, there have been documented cases of false positive screen results with this assay in the literature. Therefore, if the results indicate a high risk of a trisomy, diagnostic testing is recommended via an invasive procedure such as amniocentesis. Correlation with ultrasound findings should also be performed. If the results indicate a low risk of trisomy 13, 18, or 21, individuals should continue to receive appropriate prenatal care. A low risk screen result does not guarantee a healthy pregnancy. Again, this is a screening test and although rare, false negative cases have been documented. In addition, the screen does not test for every chromosome abnormality that could potentially be present in a fetus. Therefore, if fetal abnormalities are noted by ultrasound, even if this screening test indicates a low risk, diagnostic testing via invasive procedures should still be offered to the patient. It should finally be noted that this screen can also provide information regarding the chromosome sex of the fetus, as I stated earlier, but again, although the results are highly accurate, there are instances in which the reported sex does not match the fetal sex, therefore correlation with ultrasound again is highly recommended. Non-invasive prenatal screening via cell-free DNA can be performed earlier in the pregnancy than other prenatal screening methodologies such as the quad screen. This allows diagnostic testing to be performed earlier in the pregnancy in the case of a positive result, which enables a couple to make pregnancy decisions earlier in the pregnancy as well. It has also been shown that this methodology has higher sensitivity and specificity than other prenatal screening methodologies. This means that more cases of a trisomy will be detected when performing non-invasive prenatal screening via cell-free DNA than for other methodologies. Likewise, a high-risk result using this method compared to others, such as the first trimester screen or the quad screen, is more likely to result in a true positive case. Therefore, this assay results in fewer unnecessary invasive procedures than methods that have been previously utilized.